Well, we're in our fifth year of the Kiva Initiative at Belmont. The program gives incoming students an opportunity to lend microloans to those in need around the world. Here to comment on the program is the founder of Kiva, Bradley Foreman. Woo! Hello. Hello, Maria. Thank you for having me here. I, I've been looking forward uh, for an opportunity to speak to the student body because I feel like people aren't using Kiva quite as much as I'd hoped. Absolutely. What you do is incredible. We'd love to do anything we could to help. Oh, would you, Maria? Would you like to help? <laughs> That's certainly news to me. Oh, I'm sorry. Have I done something? No, you've done nothing. That's the problem. <laughs> Look, why don't you just tell us how you got started? Very well. Uh, it was about 10 years ago now I took my first trip to Argentina. It was there I met a farmer named Hector. He was starving in order to make sure his children had enough food on the table. All he needed to make his harvest were successful. All he needed to keep from starving was some irrigation equipment. It was then that I knew how to help. I needed to get Hector and countless others like him the supplies they needed to start a business or be self-sufficient. If I could show students what I had seen, allow them to see who they were helping, perhaps a picture of Hector and his family, surely they would find a, fund a small percentage of the supplies. I thought, if I make it even easier, if I make it so easy that a student need only click on a person in need to change their life completely, surely no one would be too lazy to help. Surely no student would be too lazy to even click on a poor person in need. I can't help but feel like you're harboring a bit of resentment toward us. Oh, so now you're sensitive to other people's feelings. <laughs> you over there, you loaned any money yet? Well, I, there was a... Um... Again, five years ago, I encountered a family in need. One water filtration system was all they asked. Easy, I thought. But, to be safe, I changed my strategy. This time, I gave students $25. I gave them the money they needed to do the right thing. All they have to do is pass it along, I thought. All they have to do is click on a poor person and give them free money. No one could possibly screw this up. Okay, you're clearly upset. I'm sorry none of us have been using Kiva as much as we should, but maybe you should come back when you're feeling a little less passive aggressive. Plus, there is no chance that this is as easy as you're making it so, oh my God, I just paid for cancer treatments for a family in Somalia. Oh. <laughs> Finally, two years ago, I returned to Argentina. There, I met Sophia, Hector's seven-year-old daughter. Well, I brought Sophia with me here today. Would you like to meet her, Maria? No, that's not a great idea. I can tell you're doing a guilt trip thing, and I can... Oh, my God, she's adorable. Hola. Excuse me, Mr. Bradley. Why did the students let my daddy down? Well, they didn't let him down, sweetie. They're just very busy. Oh, I, I understand. They must be very busy walking days to get water or deciding which of their pets to eat. I'm busy, too, sometimes. Sort of, honey, but... But these students are busy with things like Facebook. Facebook is just more appealing than my website, I suppose. It lets them connect with other wealthy college students and fund, support them financially by buying albums, watching videos, and going to shows. So if I make an album, maybe the students will help my daddy the help that he needs? No, oh, sweetheart. I'm afraid your daddy is going to have to get help somewhere else. I hope you monsters are happy. The CEO of Kuba, Little Sophia, everybody. <laughs>